Hey, what is going on, 41 Hunter? Me, please make sure to sign up for notifications for my channel. Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is DevJude, aka the 41 Hunter, and I'm very pleased to bring you my very first Need for Speed 2015 video. This is going to be a rep and money making guide. Now, this is my personal experience. I have about seven hours of gameplay, and I have a Lamborghini Aventador, and I'm level 39 with $259,000 after I bought the Lamborghini Aventador. So, if you guys are interested in seeing a money making guide, please stay around. But this first part of this video is going to be about the Deluxe Edition. If you guys did pre order the Deluxe Edition, you will be getting the BMW. M3. Now, you still have to choose a starter car at the beginning of the game, but um, you can sell that and actually use that $20,000 um, to modify the BMW. Now, if you didn't order the pre order the deluxe edition or have the deluxe edition, then you could still get the regular car, and all the rest of this video is still going to apply um, to the money making and rep guide. Now, the money making your rep guide is very, very simple. You have to do one thing, guys, and that is go through all of the purple Amy missions. Now, Amy is one of the characters in the game. She is the build person that you have to go to to talk to and do the storyline or whatever. Each one of these, uh, spoiler alert, by the way, each one of these uh, five ways to play your speed, your build, and all of that uh, has its own storyline from the main person of that. So if you're doing the story from the build standpoint, you're going to be following Amy mostly. You'll be doing missions for Amy. If you're going to be doing um, style, it's for Manu. Uh, all of that. And when you do get to the end, you become an icon in that class, basically meaning that there's no more missions and you've pretty much maxed that out. Now, um, the reason why I say to do the Amy missions and how I got... A Lamborghini Aventador and almost 400k when it came to seven hours of gameplay and that is one simple answer to that question is that the Amy missions are what unlock all of your performance upgrades and all of your visual upgrades so if you guys some things do unlock through level when you're getting rep but as you progress through these races and basically just drive like a maniac, you level up rep absolutely insanely fast and the harder the levels get and the harder the races get, the better rep you accumulate over time. Now if you're going through the Amy missions, I would honestly recommend doing all of the Amy missions right away, go right to the end, become an icon in the build, that's what I did, and I was swimming in money with 7 hours played, 39, I'm 11 levels away from max right now, so that's pretty self-explanatory you can go about i'd say the levels like the races when you do do the missions um they go from easy medium to hard and you'll be getting four grand for easy seven grand for medium and 12 grand for hard now i was driving a nissan 180sx and i just modified it as i went along and that sufficed for about medium level races and then once i started to get near the hard ones it was very very hard um, to keep up with everybody and everybody's car seemed to be pulling away from me but at that point uh, by the time I was done uh, racing the Nissan and doing all the races and going through the Amy build career I had unlocked so much and had so much money and so much rep that I ended up just going to the store buying a Lamborghini Aventador putting a turbo on it having over a thousand horsepower and even at hard races you can smoke people easily if you're a decent enough driver and I found that when you went to go do the rest of the storyline, like the speed and all the rest of the other ones, there's four other ways to do it after that. Those were insanely easy now. I'm starting off because as you progress through it, as I said, they get harder. So it goes easy, medium, hard. Well, if you do all of Amy's career, then you're going to the other ones like speed and all that, and you're starting off on the easy races. Everybody's slow. Everybody is so slow. And it just becomes a walk in the park. And really, it becomes fun because you just gain a lot of money and you can just trick out and modify everything because once you've done the Amy missions, you've pretty much unlocked everything and you've gained so much rep and money that it's accumulated all over the time and you pretty much have everything and you can unlock any car, buy anything. And yeah, so I've had about seven hours, as I've said, um, about seven hours of gameplay, which is not bad. And level 39 with a Lamborghini Aventador, I found that was a pretty good uh, accomplishment. I found that I should make a guide on this because I was really surprised on how fast I was leveling up. I watched on YouTube, people said, play this play this map or play this race and you'll get a lot of rep. Well, if you just go through the Amy missions, guys, it's so much easier and I just find it a lot better. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, please make sure to leave a comment letting me know to do more guides, stuff like that. I like doing stuff like this for the community and just letting people know um, how to get better at a game or how to do better at certain things. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.